I'm very pleased to partner with Mayor Todd Gloria on AB 367 to give local governments more tools to combat the epidemic of fentanyl overdoses plaguing our cities. The Centers for Disease Control has named fentanyl the deadliest drug in the United States. The fentanyl crisis is rapidly sweeping across California and is felt acutely here in San Diego. In the city of San Diego, accidental overdose was a leading cause of death uh, according to preliminary 2021 data, and of those deaths, 70% involve fentanyl. Fentanyl isn't just any drug. It's an extremely powerful opioid that is estimated to be 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. A lethal dose of fentanyl for the average person is only two milligrams, which is smaller than a penny. This is especially concerning given that many victims are unaware of a substance they ingested contained fentanyl. Sadly, the effects of fentanyl overdoses have been especially devastating for our state's youth population. Dealers have been utilizing social media platforms like Snapchat to entice youth into purchasing this illicit substance. One in five deaths among 15 to 24 year olds in California was a result of a fentanyl overdose. While our efforts could never repair this loss of life, AB 367 recognizes that injury to human life or death deserves, at the minimum, a three-year sentence enhancement. Previously in California, a person who sold, furnished, administered, or gave away a prohibited narcotic that resulted in death or serious injury could be charged with a great bodily injury enhancement. This gave the court the option to impose a three-year enhancement to the sentence. However, in a 2021 ruling, the California Supreme Court limited the applicability of this enhancement. By this standard, most drug dealers could escape punishment when the drugs they sell cause serious injury or death. My bill, AB 367, will help California take a multifaceted approach to the fentanyl epidemic by allowing prosecutors to add this enhancement to sentences for selling, furnishing, giving away, or administering a controlled substance that has resulted in serious injury or death. Over the past five years, the proliferation of this dangerous drug has grown into a crisis. Deaths from accidental overdose has grown exponentially, from fewer than 50 in 2017 to more than 800 in 2021. That's more than a tenfold increase in just four years' time. It's because of this reality that I signed an executive order directing a stronger law enforcement focus and response to the crimes of manufacturing and trafficking in illicit fentanyl as well as working with our law enforcement partners on prosecutorial strategies and legislation to help us tackle this threat. I'm pleased to say that Assemblymember Mainshine immediately stepped up to the plate to help us with this problem. He's working with my office as well as law enforcement on legislation that will ensure that predatory dealers of this poison are held accountable and treated as the serious crime that it is. On the night of May 4th, 2021, Connor obtained a pill from a drug dealer who he thought was a friend trying to help him with his anxiety. He took that pill the morning of May 5th prior to going to school, which killed him within minutes. When I got the call and raced home, my son was laying in the hallway next to his room with a plastic drape, blanket draped over him and the police would not let me say goodbye because of the potential exposure to fentanyl. Connor did not overdose from taking a handful of pills. He took one pill that killed him. Losing my son has been a daily struggle and I know that I can't bring him back, but hopefully sharing his story emphasizes how serious this is and that we need to take action by demanding a harsher punishment for these drug dealers. Please help in passing this bill. It is up to you and I to shift the tide. Thank you.